everyone, I'm the Geek Apprentice and I am recording this video while on vacation in Colorado to visit my family, hence no video footage. Normally I record at least a little bit of myself for each video in my gaming space, but since I didn't bring my camera with me, and only my microphone, because I really didn't think I would need my camera, here we are. Since being on vacation, I have been playing a ton of Animal Crossing New Horizons and in fact, have completely destroyed and remade my island from the ground up. And in this process, I have noticed quite a few things about my time playing Animal Crossing New Horizons that I regret doing or not doing. Some of these are aspects that I will never be able to change short of actually completely getting rid of my file and island, which I will never ever do. And so here are five things I regret in the midst of playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. The first thing I regret is my villager name. I named her Petra. That's not my name. And at the time when I got this game back in 2020, I had no intent of ever showing my real name. So I decided to use the name that I used when I was taking German language classes back in college, which was, of course, Petra. The thing is, I've grown to really not like this name. And thankfully, some of my villagers have nicknames for me, and whenever they ask me for a nickname preference, I use something else. But looking back, no one really pays attention to what you named your villager while you're streaming, except yourself, so I should have just used my name or just picked a name that I actually liked. I don't know why I was being so legalistic about it that it had to be a name that I've ever been called in, in my German class. I was called Petra because that was my German class persona. Long story too long. So I regret naming my villager something other than my name or just in general, a name I don't really like. The second thing I regret is not taking more time to pick out my island layout. Now in my defense, even though I had played every Animal Crossing game before New Horizons, I had no idea what it was gonna be like to terraform and completely transform your island. Hence, I didn't know what I would eventually want in an island layout. But in the process of dismantling my island multiple times, especially this time around, I realized there are a few aspects about my island I'll never be able to change because of the layout I picked, and picked haphazardly. The two main things being where my residence center is, which is slightly off center of my airport dock, which I would rather it be center or just completely in a different area, and also where my rivers start when they connect from the ocean. One of them is just really in an awkward spot when compared to where my residence center is, and I wish I could go back and take more time picking out my island layout. Number three is not trying harder for blue roses. Now, of course, I can just do this now, but the amount of times I would start and then just completely give up after a couple of Google searches, it's a lot. Now, my understanding is these can be incredibly difficult to get when you are actively trying. I know some people get them on accident. Good for you. That did not happen for me. But there have been so many times where I wish I had blue roses and I would just give up so, so easily. Again, this is something I can still remedy. It's not like I'm now no longer able to try for blue roses, but I regret all of that time where I would start and then just give up so quickly. It ended up being a big waste of time rather than really putting my heart into it and probably getting somewhere with all of that effort. Which by the way, if anyone has blue roses, they wanna just give to me, you know? You wanna just become my best friend on the Switch so I can come over to your island and dig them up? That would be splendid. Number four is looking up other people's island designs. Now this is a bittersweet one and I have to preface that I am planning on making another video called five things I don't regret that I did or didn't do in Animal Crossing New Horizons. This one is on there as well. But for the purposes of this video, the bitter part is I would get so kind of down on myself when I would look at all of these incredible island designs that people came up with. Obviously, it took an incredible amount of time and sometimes I would look at what they were doing and think, there's no way my island will compare to that. There's no way I can make mine look like that. I just can't conceive of ideas like that. What I mostly regret about this is the fact that I let myself get so heavily involved, I suppose. I mean, as much as I love games, it is just a game. I don't know why I would let myself agonize over it so much. It's supposed to be a relaxing little game. Why am I freaking out so much? Obviously, I don't freak out as much anymore, but I did spend too much effort really agonizing over the fact that I felt like all the other creators I was finding on Pinterest and the internet in general were just way better at designing their islands than me, rather than focusing on the purpose of the game, which is to Enjoy it and relax. You can't relax when you're comparing yourself to other people. As it is said, comparison is the thief of joy. So moving on. 
And the last thing I regret is not recording more footage. This has happened several times, but especially since being on vacation. Every time I've had time off, I've had access to my Elgato and therefore access to recording my Animal Crossing footage. And for some reason, I would neglect to record the hours upon hours of great footage I would get from just relaxing and playing the game. It's not like it would have been difficult. Now sure, sometimes you just want to kick back and lay out on the couch or lay out on your bed and have the screen right in front of you, and you can't record unless it's completely connected. But there were several hours of footage that I could have easily gotten during my relaxing times that I just didn't, and now when I make videos such as this, I have to scramble to get footage. My point is I had immediate accessibility to recording what I was doing in the game and I didn't and now I have to scramble for footage whenever I make an Animal Crossing video. This has happened multiple times and I anticipate it'll probably happen multiple times yet again. So there was my list of five things I regret about my time playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Obviously, I adore this game. I mean, I've put over 1,000 hours into it. But these were things that were definitely weighing on my mind in the midst of redoing my island for like the third time. But it is not a completely somber video. Like I said, there will be a video in the future with five things I really don't regret about my time playing Animal Crossing New Horizons that I'll hopefully have out very soon. So if you enjoyed the video, consider liking it and also joining the geekdom by subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you're aware when that next video goes up. Be sure to comment below anything you regret about your time playing Animal Crossing as well, or things you don't regret, even though we're kind of jumping ahead to the next video. Quick shout out and thank you to all of my channel members and patrons such as Joking Batman, Lurillian Sheep, Geek Bomb, and McToppler. Y'all are the best. But anyway, that is all for today. Happy New Year and thank you for watching.